What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So what I want to do right now is I want to talk about the Federal Reserve's massive warning. And this was shocking. The statements that were made by the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. This is something that I didn't think was going to happen, but he made some statements and I want to go over what he said. Now, who is this really going to impact? Well, according to the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, he said and he is warning first time home buyers to wait for a reset. Those were his exact words. He says we need to wait until supply and demand are back together. Currently, we are seeing them come a little bit closer together, but we have seen all this demand and very little supply. Our supply has been at record lows for quite some time. So he is saying we need to wait. He's also saying we need to wait for inflation to go down before we buy a home and wait for interest rates to go back down as well. He also mentioned that this is a process and it's going to take quite some time. Now, here's the reason that this is a massive warning, because what's going to happen now is people that were on the verge of potentially buying a home are now considering waiting. We just saw the Federal Reserve raise rates by 75 basis points. That was massive. And I say it's massive because the Federal Reserve just over a month ago said that they would not raise rates by 75 basis points. And now they flipped. They changed the direction in just one month. Now, keep in mind, if they continue to do this and raise rates by 75 basis points again and again and again, we are going to see uh, interest rates just surge. They're going to be higher than what we've seen in the past. And we are already seeing that these are, at, again, this is the first time it's happened since 2008, but now mortgage rates have rose above 6% for the first time in 14 years. So big changes. Now, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell also reiterated what we already knew that there will be more rate hikes to come. And this is gonna put more downward pressure on the housing market. But what else is that gonna do? When we see downward pressure on the housing market, what normally happens is people want to buy homes. Well, here's the other issue. It's gonna be a little bit harder for some people to buy a home because of what we now know as the great resignation. People were quitting their jobs to go find something else. They'd quit their jobs to work for themselves and work from a home, start a business. Well, some lenders are not going to give you the financing that you need if you recently quit a job or moved into a different industry. It's going to be very difficult. So that's going to cause more homes to sit on the market. Well, here's something else I can tell you. There are some uh, housing experts that are speculating that the housing market is primed for a major correction, but it's going to likely be a potential crash as early as this summer. What we know is that home buyers are contemplating waiting until prices drop significantly to either buy a home. Uh, so they're waiting right now, which is causing rental prices to shoot up again, major concerns as your rent goes up because now there's more demand for rental properties over the short term. Guess what? Your landlord comes back to you and says, you know what? You don't have a lease. We never signed a lease, so we're going to raise your rate by, you know, $250 a month. If you're getting a, 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 a raise or rental increase of, let's say, you know, 20% of your current payment, are you going to be able to afford that? In some places, no. For some people, no. And this is going to cause a lot of issues. Well, we also know housing experts are saying that People are home buyers are waiting for interest rates to fall back down. But when are interest rates going to fall back down? This isn't going to happen until inflation gets under control, which is according to some is going to happen in 2023, likely late 2023. So we're still going to see inflation in uh, up over 5% likely at the end of 2022. According to the Federal Reserve, it's going to come down, just not down to 2% where they were hoping. So again, buyers are pulling out of deals. They're pulling out all their initial deals as rates are jumping. Lenders are pretty much 
backing out of their uh, original deals as a result of buyers not meeting their debt to income ratios. And again, these are all because of interest rates rising. Now, here's something else. And this is very scary because this right here, what I'm gonna share with you is a huge concern, not just for the American people, for our economy, but for the Biden administration as well. Because in April, we saw revised data showing that housing starts uh, were up 5.5%. Initially, it was uh, negative 0.2%, negative and then they revised it up, so that was good news. Well, we got completely destroyed in May. In May, it was reported that we saw a 14.4% decline. That's massive, that's huge. Now, why is this? Well, housing starts are a, a leading indicator and showing that builders don't wanna build any more homes. They already are worried that the homes that they currently have, it's gonna be very difficult for them to offload them and sell them due to rising rates and people not able to afford them. So guess what happens? Rates aren't gonna change. They'll go up and down, but what's the quickest way to sell a property if rates are going up? Lower your price. Well, if builders don't have much, uh, not really much room, right? They're, they're operating very thin, which I don't think they are right now, but if they were, it would be very difficult to lower your price that far and make it uh, you know, doable for the home buyer. So again, major issues. We also know the ex expectation is that we are gonna see interest rates top 7% in the next two months and possibly over 8% by September. That's at least according to multiple insiders. Now here's the last thing I wanna share with you because, and again, picture all these things happening at the same time. Here's what's going on. There's actually an enormous amount of uh, homes in serious delinquency as of right now. Uh, as of last month, there were roughly 640,000 homes that were behind in payments by 90 or more days. There were another 185,000 homes behind in payments by 160 days. And real estate experts warn that the amount of homes being uh, prepped for sale prior to foreclosure is starting to pick up. Okay, I remember back in 2000, uh, was 2008, 2009, uh, pretty much 2008, but there was a lot of foreclosures. And I remember people were spending some time to fix them up, to try to sell them, and then they realized, no, they're getting foreclosed on, no point to even fix it up, just get rid of the home. Well, think about this in this current market. Let's say you have a home that's at risk of being foreclosed on. Okay, so what do you do? You're gonna do what you can, you don't have any money, but you're gonna to try to sell it as quickly as possible, right? You can't fix it up, you're just gonna to try to sell it as quickly as possible. Here's the issue. If nobody can qualify to buy your home at your current asking price, then you have to keep dropping your price until somebody can actually afford it based on the new interest rates. Well, this is what's gonna put a lot of downward pressure on prices because if people can't afford what's out there, well, they don't just magically get more money, what they do is, prices for homes actually comes down. So the expectation is that these homes will start hitting the market sometime in you know, October, November of 2022, but likely see a peak around Q2 of 2023. That's what we're expecting at this point, but just because we see a peak in, in foreclosed homes on the market in, in the second quarter of 2023, we would most likely see the lowest prices of real estate come Q3, Q4 of 2023 as well. So a lot of interesting stuff happening right now. But again, I just wanted to fill you in on this, this massive warning from the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. It was shocking to me what he said, but it was also shocking to see the kind of the ramifications of what he said just go all over the internet. Because people are now worried that not only is the housing market gonna fall, people are gonna start losing their jobs, and we will be back into the somewhat of a, you know, uh, issue, the issue that we had in 2008, we're gonna see a lot of those same things, but it's coming from a little bit of a different angle. So again, a lot of people aren't expecting it, but some say it will happen.